Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Jurassic Feud by Vesuvius Media. This is a two-player game that takes 15 to 20 minutes to play, or shorter, and it's for ages 7 and up. This is their sequel game to the game Catapult Feud, a game I had previously seen was interested in, and so now I have this one to take a look at. You are going to go back into prehistoric times, you're going to be utilizing cavemen, building structures, and utilizing trebuchet-equipped dinosaurs to fire at your opponents. Each player is going to get a number of bricks and a number of these uh, other items as well as cavemen to build their fort and then they're going to go back and forth firing at each other with their dinosaurs, whether it be catapult or trebuchet style firing and of course boulders. What's the point of the game? The point of the game is to make sure that you knock down all of your opponent's cavemen before they knock yours down. Will you succeed? We'll find out in this video. A little quick note other than subscribing that because this video is primarily explaining the game really, really simply, the game's really straightforward and all that, all my B-roll is just going to be awesome action shots. Okay, how to set it up. To begin setup for the game Jurassic Feud, the first thing you do is give each player a player mat. Then, make sure that you are within four to five feet. Uh, so you might not even want to play on a table for this game because it is a pretty long distance. In fact, playing on the ground is probably preferable. Every player is going to get a number of bricks of their color and cavemen of their color, as well as accessories. Take all your bricks and or cavemen and accessories and place them somewhere on your playmat. You can build them up horizontally, vertically. The only thing you cannot do is place them leaning or diagonal on other pieces. After you have built your game board, you're going to then select your dinosaurs that you're going to be utilizing, and your trebuchet and your catapult, as well as a number of these stones, which are what you're going to use to fire, and you're going to have this distance marker. Take your distance marker and look for an edge of your playmat, and then find the two marker and place your dinosaur at the edge of that too. So you should be a short distance away from your playmat. The other player or players will do that as well, and then the game is ready to begin. Jurassic Feud is a dexterity based game. Your objective is to take your dinosaur, pull back on the plunger and fire your boulder at your opponent's base. If you can knock down one of their cavemen, you have succeeded. And to win the game, you must knock down their last caveman. After you pull the plunger and fire at one of your opponent's structures, any structure or item or character that falls off of their player board is removed, but anything else is left just as it stands. So things can fall down, but only if they are knocked out are they truly removed from the game. I'll fire one of my shots, then you'll fire one of yours, and we'll rinse and repeat going back and forth up until somebody has lost all of their caveman. Once that happens, the game is over, and whoever has the last remaining caveman is the winner. If you want to play the advanced mode, it will come with action cards. It will come with a number of different rules, like you'll have a certain number of these uh, extra um, boulders here that you can use to fire. You won't be able to take your characters and lean them too close to the rocks. So you'll have to space them out with the spacing marker. And the additional space rule is actually in the advanced mode, but you should play it in the basic mode as well, which lets you kind of have a distance of two across any area of your game board. And, and you play the same kind of game, though. You're just utilizing cards. There's new action cards that will allow you to gain additional benefits for the game. Uh, most pay players play the basic mode of the game, as from what I've seen and been told. So that's kind of what I explain the game. It's a pretty simple, straightforward game. Pulling the plunger back, firing at a base, and then trying to knock down all the caveman. Can you do it? Does it sound like fun? Let's talk about it. Jurassic Feud is a game in which you're just basically firing off rounds at your opponent's structures and knocking down cavemen, being the last person with cavemen left standing. This is a game of dexterity and control for your dinosaurs. Both dinosaurs function a little differently. One is going to be shooting and pulling back on this little um, catapult here and firing out kind of like in an arc position. Whereas the other one is more of a trebuchet, it kind of fires like a gun. It pulls out and it shoots straight forward. The little bullet drops and fires out. And both of them have their own unique play style. They also have a kind of, um, I guess it's kind of like a learning curve. Your first few shots, your ball's gonna kind of like dribble out onto the board or do absolutely nothing. And you're gonna have to get used to it. You're gonna have to also designate how you would like, if you're playing with kids, uh, how you would like to have your rubber band stretch. The tighter the band, the harder the shot. These things are not going to hurt you if you hit, they hit you. These are definitely soft, little squishy, um, I don't even know what you call it, like rubbery type of, almost like a bouncy ball, the old school bouncy balls, but even softer than those. So you're of no risk of having anybody get super hurt, but 
could mess with an eye if you're not careful and you have this rubber band too hard. Uh, I would suggest taking your, uh, making sure your dinosaurs are correctly aligned with the rubber band and that it's at its kind of weaker point. And I would also suggest to only use the rubber bands that they provide you in the game. Don't start pulling out your own from home because those might be either too weak to actually fire or way too strong and actually put some, you know, put some pressure against somebody if they hit. Now, another rule for this game is you don't want to have anybody else around. I would even suggest moving if you're playing with little kids, moving yourself out of the area. With adults, it's not a big deal. You can stand here and you can take a little bullet. It's not gonna, or <laughs> I say that word. You're gonna take a little, like a rubbery ball, it's it's not going to hurt you. But for kids, you know, be a little more careful, be mindful, be mindful of the people around you. This is a fun game. I love dexterity board games, and uh, this one here is basically kind of like a toy meets a game. And it reminds me of my childhood. There's a lot of games that I played that were kind of like this in my childhood, where you had these little bases and these little like marines that you can set up, and there would be little weaponry that you'd fire. This functions kind of like those old school style 1990s games, so you probably won't see any more of. Um, the quality of the miniatures is rather nice. I like how the cavemen are kind of unique. These are all prototypes, so I'm sure they'll be a little different than the ones you get when you purchase the game. Uh, the bricks is a nice way to build a base, and they give you enough to kind of be able to create a structure uh, that will protect your men and or if you build it incorrectly. So it kind of teaches you a little bit about how to make buildings. Building them improperly makes the whole thing tumble really easily and you lose a bunch of cavemen. So it actually has a way of kind of a learning curve as to how you should construct buildings. It's a great, uh, this is a great game for kids, a great game for families to play with their kids. And then of course, we played with adults and we had a lot of fun with it as well. Uh, uh, this is also a game where if you purchase more than two, one copy, if you get an extra copy, you could play four players quite easily. Or if you wanted to make a larger battleground, you can set it up so you have two playmats next to each other for both players and have a larger base. I love the idea of construction and demolition. It's super fun. It was my childhood dream to just knock things over, and this game does exactly that for you. Additionally, there is a game called Catapult Feud. This is the first game. I have no reason or understanding why you couldn't play with all of it mixed together. Pretty much the game can be exactly what you'd like to make of it, playing the normal mode, the advanced mode, just firing at other people's bases. It has this variety that you can offer whenever you put all these pieces together and utilize what has been provided to you to shoot and knock down all these wonderful little structures. Straightforward. It's a fun game. I enjoy games like these, but you're, it's, this is not a heavy set, strategic, like lengthy type. It's nothing like that. This is a very light, very simple, very easy to play. When it says seven and up, it does mean that. You could probably play with maybe a child, probably a little younger as if you want, if you're kind of like coaching them and around them with them to see how it works and all that. Yeah, I, I love games like these. These games need to be keep, keep being made for the younger generations, and I'm glad that they are. This is a game that I'm going to keep for my daughter and I to play with. And I hope you guys, if you have never actually had, if you have children or you haven't ever played a game like this, uh, something to get them into is very, very enjoyable for kids of all ages. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Jurassic Feud. A short, quick one. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward game, but this is one that has a lot of nostalgia for me. It reminds me of a lot of childhood games I enjoyed and a lot of games I think small children will enjoy with their families. A dad and baby daughter are going to be taking on mom at some point in the future. Quite a quite a ways away, I'm, I'm, I'm assured, but nevertheless, it's going to be one of those games I want to keep around for that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see our live streams every six Saturday at Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST. If you'd like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification button, so you can see more videos that we create just like this. That could be games as complicated as a three-hour game or as simple as a 10-minute game where you're just shooting boulders at each other. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to having a Jurassic Feud with you next time.